Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Over a year ago, I made a video on installing Quantum Espresso on Windows 10 and I received a lot of positive feedbacks from you. Today, I want to revisit that topic and show you how to install and compile the fully parallel version of Quantum Espresso on Windows 11 using WSL2. This ensures we are working with the most updated version compiled from source and with optimal performance. Let's get started. Okay, go to the Windows search and search for turn Windows features on or off. In this new window, you should check Windows uh, subsystem for Linux and uh, also virtual machine platform. These two options should be checked. After checking them, your system may need a restart. Don't worry, and after restart, you can follow the next steps with me. After this step, you need to go to Windows Microsoft Store and look for Ubuntu. Here you can see several different versions of Ubuntu and you can select the latest version, in my case here 24, and install, just click install and the installation process will start. Okay, this takes few minutes and you will see here installing complete and okay, I click open. This terminal will appear and after few minutes you will be prompted to create your username and password. Here I type my username, for example WSL user and I type my password and retype your password again okay installation successful it's done okay you have your ubuntu and wsl ready and the next steps i created a readme file that you can find uh, in in the video descriptions here i copy the commands for example here sodo app update one by one and you need to just follow all the commands from this uh, readme file. The first step is updating the list of our repository and package lists in Ubuntu. You can even uh, do sort of apt upgrade, but for now, this is enough. And okay, next step is installing required library which I divided, uh, I divided them into two categories, libraries like uh, Essential and GFortran. We install them together and after this step, I will install also libraries uh, related to compiling Quantum Espresso in parallel, like MPI run. Okay, here we wait until this finished. Now, we go to next step. Okay, so the app Open MPI. For example, here I use Open MPI. You can use other libraries, but for this tutorial, it's better to just follow this instruction. Okay. Before going to next step, it's better to open a new tab to load all changes. You can open a new tab from this arrow here. Yes, you see I have different uh, options. I select Ubuntu and okay, it can appear with new color list there is nothing in my home i create a source which i will uh, download quantum espresso in this directory and compile it here to keep everything organized okay follow this instruction to download i will use uh, wget command and this link for the latest version of quantum espresso from their gitlab repository 
Okay, done. We have tar file here that I will use uh, tar-xvf to extract this file. Now it's extracting and uh, you can see here you have a new directory. This one, okay, QE, QE 7.4 navigate to this directory you will see list of files and first step is configure this will create a make file and everything is needed for your installation before going to next step check just this line parallel environment detected successfully this is very important to ensure we are making parallel version of the code and uh, I start by make PW okay this can take few minutes it depends on your resources and even you can use this uh, dash J a number to make it faster but here this is enough and we will wait okay check for errors and you will find the binary files in subdirectory bin which most important is this pw.x and uh, you have it here with several other binaries after compiling pw we will go to next step which is compiling pp which includes necessary binaries for post processing while some people use make all to compile everything in the package i, re I recommend uh, most of time focusing on just these two for beginners this approach minimizes potential errors from unnecessary libraries for beginners, focusing on PW, PP, PH, or some basic codes, I think is more than enough. Okay. Now I LS bin again. You see, I have many other new binaries here, and we have uh, everything compiled and actually it's ready to use now i want to just add this pass of executables in my bash rc this is simple step that you need it uh, to run quantum espresso in all your terminals and new paths okay copy this command export paths now you will have this binaries uh, folder in your environment and uh, you can run quantum espresso from all different directories okay source this bash rc and now if i go for example to home and just type which pwx you will see here this will show me the path of this directory which contains all executables for quantum espresso now it's time to test our executables 
make a new directory here I call it test and cd test okay there is nothing in this test for this step uh, if if you have your own uh, input and sort of potentials and you are familiar with the quantum espresso inputs you can use it but I I prepared you some simple examples that I will use here in this step let me change the color of this profile that I don't like that default okay and how it's better okay here with this command I am downloading a, a basic example from my own github repo I need unzip them and uh, okay this Ubuntu is quite new and then I install unzip okay wrong password again now I have my unzip package unzip okay you have this QE example directory and go to example one and in example one we have this simple system BATIO3 I think yes and uh, this is very basic input for quantum espresso that you can use okay I start running quantum espresso with MPI run dash MP2 pw.x okay input name and to see your output at the same time of writing your output you can use this t command okay you see it's working here we can see drop down without error and we should check this at the end of the file one of the most frequently asked questions about the previous video was how to access the file generated in your uh, Ubuntu in WSL from Windows File Explorer okay to do this you just need to go to Windows file explorer in left okay here in the left sidebar scroll down to find your Ubuntu version and then find the home here home and in the home you will see your username it's better to pin to quick access this directory in this way you will have quick access and whenever you want you can find your example or other files here i find my example directory here from windows and uh, now i can open it in notepad and check my output like normal text file in windows okay that was all the steps to compile Quantum Espresso on WSL2. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like, subscribe and feel free to leave a comment. Thank you for watching.